All right, so we are going to talk about zooming. And I cannot stress enough how important it is that you understand how to zoom when you are editing. If you do not learn some way to zoom in and out of your project, you are never ever going to become even a halfway decent editor. So we're going to teach you about zooming. And by zooming, I simply mean this, by zooming into your clips on your timeline or zooming back out of the clips on your timeline. And the reason you need to know this is because when you are zoomed way out on your timeline like this and you try to make an edit, you can see that if you even just barely pull something, it's going to pull it probably a second or so at a time. It's like trying to paint a painting from 20 feet across the hall with a big brush on a stick. You just can't do it. If I try to make a little if I try to trim this clip right here, for example, watch if I just barely pull it, oof. Now look how long that black space is in there. And that was just one little pull I made. It's got a huge space that's about two or three seconds long. I'll undo that. But the thing is, when you're editing, you want to be able to zoom down on it to where you can take off just frames. Remember, there are 30 frames in a second, typically. You want to be able to zoom down and take off 1 30th of a second at a time, which is one frame. So let's look right here. I'm going to zoom down on this just to give you an example. There we go. So now watch this clip right here. You know what I would love? Something normal. Something normal. Obviously, we don't have him. We don't need him saying something normal twice, right? Well, if I'm zoomed all the way out here, how do I how do I get down on there and make that correction and trim the front of that clip off? I can't. So what you do is you zoom down on it. I'll show you how to do it in just a second. And I'm going to say I want to take that off. Something normal. I'm just going to take that off. I can see it very clearly, and now I can just drag it over to here. And I can delete this space, and now I have. Something normal. Normal? Something like that. So, now I'm going to zoom back out. That's why zooming is so important, because you have to be able to get down on them to make those intricate uh, trims like that on your individual video and audio clips. So, how do you go about zooming? Well, there are actually a few ways to do it. I like to use the keyboard to do it. And if you look over by your big delete button, you'll see there's a plus and a minus sign on a couple of keys. The plus sign will zoom down on like this to your clips and it will zoom to wherever your timeline marker is. The minus sign will zoom back out. So say I put this marker over here and I hit this plus and I'm just tapping it. It's just going to zoom down on those clips. You can make your edits, do what you need to do, and then minus zooms you back out. And you'll notice it's zooming down to wherever you put this playhead, this, this timeline marker playhead. So it's not a marker, it's a playhead. So that's one way you can zoom. Another way to zoom is to grab this little bar right down at the bottom of your timeline down here, this scroll bar. You'll notice it's got some sort of light gray tips on the end of it. If you grab one, click and hold it, you can see if you pull to the right, it zooms out. If you pull to the left, it zooms in. This is one way to do it. I'm not a really big fan of this, but some people do like it. Um, I think it will still zoom to your playhead. Let's see. Yeah, it'll still zoom to your playhead like that. If you like that, you can use either side of it. Pulling on that left and right will zoom for you. You can also use the zoom tool over here. Now, you can see the reason I don't use this very often is because I don't like all the clicking and having to go click here, zoom down on it, go back, get my regular selection tool, and then make my edit, and then come back and hit my zoom tool, and then I believe you have to hold option, and it reverses it if you hold option down. So I don't really like that, but some people do. And here's the trick to this. If you're going to try to use this, don't go over and click on it. Use your keyboard shortcut and just hit Z. Now watch this. When I hit Z, it's going to turn blue. So there, it turned blue, and now you know you've got your, your zoom tool. And you can zoom down wherever you want to. Now, if you hit the V on your keyboard, you can see it's going to turn back to your main selection tool, which is your main ed editing tool. 
and you can make your your cuts you hit Z again and your option and you can zoom back out so I'm not a fan of that but that is one way to do it so here's one trick that Hunter and I use all the time and I think any pro editor anybody who gets into editing is really gonna want to learn to do this when I figured this out I was just really really happy that someone taught me this because it saves you so much time when you're editing let's say that you want to go down and make an edit right here right well you need to zoom down on it you're gonna make an edit you make your little trim here or whatever and delete the space or whatever you're gonna do well rather than tapping the minus sign to zoom back out if you look at that backslash button right below the big delete button tap that and you'll see it just instantly zooms back out to show your whole project so you can zoom into something make a make a trim do whatever it is you're going to do to it hit that backslash button and it pops right back out so that takes a lot of a lot of the tapping out like that if you're gonna tap in make an edit and then tap back out it's easier to just go in make your edit and then hit that backslash button and it automatically zooms out to your timeline so those are a few ways to zoom you're going to have to learn one of them so practice with them all see which one you like and once you learn how to do zooming properly it will make you a much much better editor